Are you looking for your next job? We have an agency out here that's short employees and they're trying to do everything that they can in order to hire more. But these jobs, they're not on usajobs.gov. This is happening in the Department of Commerce, more specifically the NOAA, which is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. They currently have about 12,000 employees. This agency has 15 big ships that operate around the world, conducting surveys and research. By looking at this map here, you can see that the ships are ported all over the country. One of the main jobs needed here are mariners. Simply put, this is a sailor or somebody who works on a boat. Now I looked for Mariner on usajobs.gov, nothing came up. To see a list of the open positions, you have to go to the agency's website. Here you will see announcements for engineers, survey technicians, and oilers. If we click on first assistant engineer, we can see the salary range between $112,000 and $125,000 a year. This is under the WM pay plan, and this job also has a $10,000 signing bonus. What type of experience would you need for a job like this? Well, it's a little different than usajobs.gov because there's not a specialized experience section. Instead, we see there's a minimum eligibility section and an evaluation criteria. This is basically the knowledge, skills, and abilities that you would need. It all involves shipboard experience. If you want more information about these type of jobs, there's an email address and a phone number that you can contact for recruiting information. They also have hiring events they do every single month. And then towards the end of the year, you can see here, they're actually doing a virtual one. This is one of the websites I use when I create the list of virtual hiring events. I send that list out every week. If you want me to send it to you, sign up to the free newsletter down below. When you read the website, you will learn that NOAA is broken up into two sections. The first section, you have the Commission Officer Corps, and then you have the Civilian Professional Mariners. You can see some side-by-side -side differences here. Most of the workers are not in the Officer Corps. The Officer Corps is considered a uniform service. So if you wanted to join, these are the usual steps. So step one, initial selection. Step two, basic training at the US Coast Guard Academy. This is in Connecticut. Step three, you are commissioned and start your career. 80% of these officers, they will go out to sea. And there's a rotation between sea and land assignments. This is how you would apply. On the main page, click NOAA Commission Officer Corps link, scroll down to ready to apply, and click here. Scroll down to new candidate and then click apply. The second question here asks you about a bachelor's degree. And the third question, they ask you if you have 48 semester hours in a STEM field. There are a few clear challenges that are getting in the way from people actually getting into this organization. People are not fired up about applying to get in. And the main reason why, look at the work-life balance. You're gonna be on a ship for who knows how long. That's not gonna be ideal for a lot of younger folks. Number two is the awareness. The word isn't getting out. This is a very small organization, so they don't have the money when it comes to recruiting and getting the word out there. And number three is the medical screenings. About 60% of people that are trying to get in and join, they're not found medically suitable and there are no medical waivers for a job like this. But maybe you don't have any desire to be out on the water. And this job, this job isn't for you. Well, this agency is still hiring over a hundred other positions. Let's jump on the website and take a look. We can see here there's 109 open jobs with two of them being 100% remote work. The top job series is 1340 Meteorology with 23 jobs and 2210 IT Management with 17 jobs. The average job being advertised here is between GS-12 and GS-14. That means your salary expectation should be around $100,000 to $150,000 a year in many areas. Now, they're also hiring administrative jobs, roughly the same salary range, like this one. This is a policy analyst position in Maryland. The salary range here is between $82,000 and $128,000 a year. The experience you would need is assisting with policy analysis, information gathering, and assisting with the implementation of new programs. Many people could take their past experience, make it fit exactly for a position like this. But people aren't doing it, not for this job, because you see that little yellow box on this job announcement? It closes after 100 days. It's already been five days, and it has not closed. That means not that many people are applying for a job like this. So if I were looking for a GS-11 admin position, I would be looking at a job announcement very similar to this. This one is even open to the public, meaning that anyone can apply. Many times when someone looks at a job announcement with the yellow box that says it's gonna close after 25, 50, 100 applications, 
they automatically become discouraged. They think someone else is in mind, so they don't want to waste their time in trying to apply for that job. And that's absolutely the wrong thing to do. You want to apply for those type of jobs. You only control what you're able to control. You don't know what's going through the hiring manager's mind. But a lot of these positions, they're trying to hire quickly. That's why there's a limit between 50 and 100 applications. They want to get someone in that position quickly, and they know if they leave it open, before, before long, they're going to have over a thousand applications and it's going to extend the entire hiring process. Who has time to look over thousands and thousands of applications? Stop being the first person to reject yourself. With the NOAA, they're ranked 226 out of 459 agency subcomponents. So they're pretty much middle of the pack here. And they're down over a thousand employees from their all time high about 11 years ago. If you want to apply for federal government jobs just like this, or maybe government jobs in another agency, Two main things. Is your resume written in a strong, compelling fashion directly relevant to the job series? Yes, good. Are you consistently applying? Yes, good. If the answers to those two questions are yes, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of weeks or months and you will get the job offer. But if you're just getting into this, maybe you have a lot of questions on your mind. Questions about the federal hiring process, about the website usajobs.gov, about the difference in salaries when it comes to negotiating. Can you negotiate your salary? How much? What is a step level? All those type of questions. If those are on your mind, I did a live stream recently. I answered over a dozen questions. A lot of these questions, they could be on your mind. If you're interested in that, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.